Hello guys, my name is Amit. Today we are going to discuss the lead code problem 1609, which is even or tree. So the problem says that, says that we are given a binary tree and we have to uh, find that whether this tree is even odd or not. So the criteria for even odd is this that at the even index levels, all entries should be odd and it should be increasing order that is if this is a even index level then this should be increasing and all entries should be odd while at the odd index levels that is let's say at odd index level 1 uh, all entries should be decreasing uh, from left to right and all entries should be even as well so in order to solve the problem we can think it of think this tree uh, we, we will be doing the spiral or the zigzag traversal of tree so in spiral order traversal what we do is we traverse right from the root then we go uh, on on the on even level we go from left to right on on odd levels we go from right to left so we can see here we are going from left to right on even levels level 0 on level 1 which is the odd level we are going from right to left then again on level 2 we are going from left to right and then again on level 3 which is a odd level we are going from right to left so this is just an example but uh, we will be taking up this example to solve that how we are going to solve the problem so basically we will be using two stacks here because zigzag traversal uh, employs two stacks zigzag traversal so what we will do is we, we will take two stacks first is the main stack second is the temporary stack uh, and both stacks are initially empty so the root of this tree is one we will push one onto the main stack now uh, at level zero we will be keeping a variable to uh, keep track of level as well in code so at level zero we will pop the main stack so we have popped the main stack one and on the even level because here level is zero and this is even in this case we will push left and then right child of the popped entry onto the temporary stack so as you can see the left entry is 10 we will push 10 onto the temporary stack then the right entry is 4 we will push right entry 4 onto the temporary stack so it becomes 4 10 now when the stack main stack becomes empty we will just check that temporary stack is sorted or not so in this case yes it's sorted from left to right we'll move ahead and then we will swap the stacks so in this case main stack becomes 410 and temporary stack becomes empty so this is the logic which we are going to apply on every level now we are on level one we will pop the first entry that is four on the on the odd level sorry sorry to say we are on the odd level now on the odd level we are going to push right child and then left child so right child of four is 9 so we are going to push 9 onto the temporary stack which was empty then you are going to push 7 onto the temporary stack so it becomes 7 9 then the main stack has entry 10 so we will pop 10 the right child of 10 is null so we are not going to do anything the temporary stack stays same then the left child is 3 we, will, we are going to push 3 so it becomes 3 7 9 now the main stack is empty we will again check the temporary stack is sorted or not yes this is and then we will again swap now again the temporary stack becomes empty main stack becomes 3 7 9 at level 2 which is a uh, even level so at this we are going to pop 3 so when we pop 3 and we know that at even level we are going to look the left child and then the, then the right child for 3 the left child is 12 we will push on stack then the right child is 8 we will push on temporary stack it becomes this then for 7 the left child is 6 we will push on stack it becomes 6 8 12 then entry is null we are not going to do anything we will push last entry from the main stack 9 uh, the left child is null we are not going to do anything and the right child of 9 is 2 we are going to push it again on the stack so the temporary stack becomes 2 6 8 12 and the main stack becomes empty again we check the temporary stack is sorted we swap the main stack and temporary stacks temporary stack becomes empty and finally on level 3 we are going to repeat the same process we are going to pop 2 so after popping 2 we find there are no child temporary stack remains empty 
we pop 6 we find no child empty pop 8 no child temporary stack empty pop 12 temp and then again temporary uh, stack becomes empty and when temporary stack is empty it means that we do not have any level of ahead and then we are going to exit with true statement so let's see in code how this is done so let me start from okay so the main function uh, calls this so in this uh, i have just checked that if root is null then i'll return false otherwise i'll push the root onto the uh, main stack so that the entries for the main stack and every stack are here which takes the tree node pointer then i ha i'll check zigzag so in zigzag i have taken two loops two while loops so at the uh, initially the main stack top entries searched if top is null then i'll just continue otherwise the top is pushed onto the vector which we are going to check here this sorted temporary stack sorted this is the vector sorted then uh, if we are at the e1 level so for level we uh, i have taken this variable level here and then uh, after every uh, iteration or uh, i'm going to uh, increment the level so if level is uh, even that is its mod 2 then in that case i'm going to push left and then right otherwise if level is odd then i'm going to push right and then left so this says that this check says that if at e1 level the element is e1 then in that case i'm going to return false and if odd level element is odd so at that case i'm also going to return false at end of so this this loop uh, inner loop inner while loop basically uh, checks the pops the main stack fills the temporary stack now i am going to check the vector which is uh, filled from the main stack that it is sorted or not uh, this comparator operator this comparator function is taken uh, which says that if it is greater than a is greater than b then we have to return false otherwise true so if it is not sorted then we are going to return false just clear this vector and then finally swap the temporary and the main stack and then we are going to do a level plus so this is how the code runs uh, i'll just push the code on github as well thanks a lot have a good day bye